Hey chickadees, welcome to Lady Lilith Corsetry and Costume. Today I wanted to do a small fabric and sewing notions haul, so let's get started. I've got some stuff from Minerva Crafts and a couple of other shops. I'm also going to include some fabric that I bought at the beginning of the year because it's uh, for big projects and things like that or I just really like the fabric. So the first thing I got was some white fold over elastic. They've ran out of the black one and they've been out of stock of it for quite a while and I need to finish off some underwear that I've got and I want to finish it off for the so out of this world hashtag as part of the second edition um, to do with UFOs. The fabric is kind of a blue flowery fabric and I'd used, I had enough fold over elastic for the waistband but I didn't have enough for leg holes so as it, the fabric's got white in it I thought I'll just get white no one's gonna see them anyway apart from me so it really doesn't matter to have matching fold over elastic. The next thing is this pattern and it is the 8162 from Simplicity in collaboration with American Duchess. I am going to be making this in June, I think the plan is. I, it's because I want to broaden my corsetry. I don't want to just stick to the kind of modern silhouette that I am used to making. I want to make some other garments from other uh, periods of time. So I'm really excited to start with that one, but that won't be for another couple of months. I also ordered two meters of their black voile. I think it's pronounced voile, as in toile. Um, this is just a really, really thin, smooth, buttery cotton that I want to make a, another roughly shirt like I'm wearing out of um, for work. So I've bought two meters of that. It's been washed and given a cursory iron, but it will need another iron once I get it to the studio. Now, the next fabric is one I bought a few months ago. It's still from Nerva Crafts, but it is this gorgeous textured sateen and I think you can wear it either way so this side is more textured and slightly dull and then if I open it up this side is slightly more shiny uh, and slightly flatter so I decided that I preferred it the texture side and I made a five panel circle skirt. Um, I ordered two meters and I still actually have quite a chunk left. So I'm hoping that I might be able to get another blouse out of it. I'm not sure else what else I would make out of it. But, you know, it's, it's lovely. I'll have the link for all these fabrics in the down bar below. So don't forget to go down and check it out. The last one from Minerva Crafts is another one I bought a couple of months ago. And I've been wanting this fabric for a very long time. It is part of my cycling ensemble inspired by the 1890s. And I've already made the bloomers. And they are very functional. I've worn them cycling to work a couple of times already. So they're very, very useful. And it is this uh, viscose wool and polyester blend in this gorgeous petrol colour. I'm it's just lovely uh, it's thinner than I did expect I thought because I had a bit of wool in it would be a bit thicker but that's fine it just means that those bloomers are kind of like summer bloomers and I'll just have to make myself some thicker ones maybe in a twill or a um, wool a boiled wool for the winter I do have a blog post about the bloomers specifically on my blog so I will link that down below for you to go check it out I'm not planning on making the jacket portion of this ensemble until about July I think until it starts getting a bit cooler again so this will stay in my box of fabric for a little bit longer until it's used but it is such a gorgeous fabric that's it for Minerva crafts the next fabric I have is from Calico Lane I love Calico Lane for their cottons they they just do really good basics at a really good price and they also 
carry a brand called Rose and Hubble fabric. So I bought this fabric again to go with my cycling ensemble. I wanted to make a, or I do want to make a shirt out of it. It is this mint green vintage stripe. I have the purple version of this and I've made a shirt out of the purple version and I love that. When I first got this I wasn't a hundred percent keen on it. I feel it's a bit too yellow to go with the ensemble but I'll make it up in a shirt and as I'll be cycling in it it's you know it's gonna get a bit hot and sweaty and dirty because cycling does that. Um, so you know it's not a big deal that it's not quite my perfect colour but it is such a nice quality and yeah I, I just love the stripe it's not just a solid stripe it's a big stripe and then two little stripes on either side and it just gives it that depth which makes it really really nice visually okay this is the last fabric this fabric is I don't know how to describe it it's my most favorite fabric that I've bought this year it sets my little goth heart singing I bought it from fabric godmother I was gonna wait because the thing I'm making it making for it I wasn't going to do until September because it's a jumper and it was getting warmer I have enough I had enough here I have I think it was one meter I'll have to go and check that I had enough to make two jumpers so I decided as I had a bit of spare time in April and the weather still wasn't getting warmer that I would make a wearable twirl out of some of this fabric. I'll show you the fabric. It is gorgeous. It is this grey damask uh, print, not print, damask kind of, when they put the velvet on top, I can't remember what that's called, but it's just so nice. It's from the Fabric Godmother and it was £10 a metre which is on the higher end of what I usually pay for fabric, I'm a bit cheap but I just couldn't pass it up I just to have a jumper in this would just be so lovely it's, it's just so different, you know? so I've made a wearable twirl in this fabric that hasn't gone that well but it's not the fabric's fault and I'm going to make another one later in the year it's a Pontarama and it's kind of like a sweat, it's a sweatshirt fabric, it's not too thick and it's not too thin, it's perfect. It's really easy to sew with. I still have to put the weight of uh, the neck band on the jumper. That's it for the Fabric and Notions haul. As I said, it was only very small. I'll put all the links to all that fabric in the down bar for you. If whilst you're there, you want to like, comment and subscribe, that would be wonderful. I will see you later. Bye.